following is a fan base parody. Sword Art Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Annie Plikes USA, and Ricky Kawahara. Please support the official release on Bookwalker. Use promo code CARF to get 600 yen off your first purchase of digital manga or light novels. More details in the description below. How could you just ditch me like that, Leafa? <laughs> I thought I was clear about not mentioning that game in public, Nagata. Oh, right. I'm sorry, Leafa. What did I just say? <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, Kitty Daya. It's just, when I came back without you, Prince Casimir was less than pleased. He tied my hand so I couldn't log out. He used the vice, Kitty Gaia. I don't think I'll ever be able to listen to Cascada again. Oh, I love them! Shit, I should have gone to that. Well, whatever. Just tell him I don't care what kind of stupid storyline he's cooked up. What's the point of playing a princess if people are still gonna tell me what to do? I, I suppose I could pass that along for you if you really need me to. I do. Cool. Now, if that's everything, you can get out of my way. You're making me late to kendo practice! Oh, right! Hey, now that he's out of the hospital, is your brother going to be joining you? I'd really love to meet the hero of Aincrad. Ugh, please don't call him that. And no, that spineless quitter hasn't actually practiced in years. He's always been more comfortable with screens than swords. The Black Swordsman doesn't like swords? Ugh, look, are you going to get out of my way or not? Uh, I will, I promise. It's just, before you go... I've been wanting to ask you something for a long time now. Uh, what is it now? Well, I was wondering if we could maybe, you know, go on a real date. N <gasps> not that I don't like what we've been doing, but I just thought maybe we could, like, go see a movie or... Don't get the wrong idea about us, okay? You and I are barely friends. Reckon is Princess Leafa's fuck boy. Got it? Don't confuse a game with real life, you perv! Now meet me in the janitor's closet after practice. I got another quest for you. Yes, princess. Oh, fucking Nagata. What the hell's so great about Kazuto anyway? Nothing but a butt-fucking quitter who hacks into my game to, I don't know, blackmail me probably. Ha <laughs> like all this girly shit, like fairies, and Nagata, and ponies. Oh, yeah, he would say that, that son of a bitch. Giving me those sad puppy dog eyes, tricking me into feeling bad for him. This is what I get for being nice. Well, he made a big mistake challenging me here. This cutesy little world has many dark corners. And I think I know just the one to take him to first. Welcome to the Fairport! Wait, the what? Can we live a real life? A real life? Do we even know what that means? Can we live a real life? And no people love Cypress yet! Can we live a real life? Between the devil and the digital thief! So you're telling me that there are people who log into this game just so they can pretend to run an airport? Fairport. Don't. Princess Leafa, there you are. It's a good thing we caught you before you got through customs. They do that too? I hate it. Not only did you embarrass me, as well as the queen, by failing to attend our engagement party, but now I find you gallivanting with this detestable sprig and trash! Trash has a name, by the way, in case anyone cares. Listen, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to fake marry you. I only agreed to it because my fake mom said I fake had to in order to... What was it? End the civil war that ravages our homeland? Yeah, that bull honky. But see, I'm bored now. I'm gonna go hang out with this guy for a while, okay? 
Princess, I really must insist it is imperative that you come with us Im- Come on, dude. She said she's not interested. Have some self-respect and cool it with a sleazy roleplay fetish stick. You're a young, eligible nobleman. I'm sure you gotta have plenty of cousins who'd love to take her place in the old marriage bed. Know your place, Spriggan. I know not how you seduced our fair princess. But events have been set in motion which are beyond your meager comprehension. Oh yeah, sure, I bet. What, is she like a fallen star made flesh? And you gotta stop a gang of witches from eating her heart and regaining their lost youth? Okay, first off, that's the plot of Stardust. Second, I don't have time to explain it to the likes of you. All you need to understand is that what I do, I do for the good of us all. Your Highness, perhaps this is a conversation you should have in private? The pretzel guy is staring at us. Hey, any of you nice folks want a pretzel? <laughs> Many thanks, kind citizen. We're fine. <laughs> you see that, princess? You are making a scene. Oh. Oh, you want a scene? That is explicitly not what I want. Well, I'll give you a scene! You just wait until my mom gets back from those peace talks at Butterfly Valley! Your ash is gonna be so banished! Ah! I see! <laughs> it appears we have been sufficiently intimidated, wouldn't you say, boys? We have? We have! Yes, we have! We'll just be on our way then! <laughs> Enjoy slumming it, princess! Ugh, sorry about that. Those guys take this game way too seriously. Yeah, I've noticed. Look, before we go any further, I need you to be straight with me. Am I in for some additional screening over there? Leafa? Leafa, come on. Answer me! Greetings. How are you folks doing today? <gasps> Ooh, a spriggan! <sighs> you know what you never see in fantasy? Sam and Frodo filing for work visas to get into Mordor! Yeah! They just snuck in, spitting all over Sauron's borders! Flippin' hobbits, the spriggans of Middle-earth. Do you, like, forget I'm here, or do you just not care? You're right! The view is beautiful up here. Cool. You know what else is beautiful? My wife! whom I would very much like to rescue, with the army that you apparently have! Huh? Really? That's what you're going with? Wait, what do you mean, army? What do you mean, what do I mean? Last night, you said you had, like, hordes of subjects who could help us! Please do not tell me I just got my cavity searched for nothing, princess! Oh, uh, right! Of course! I guess we could go ask Mom. She might be cool, for once. Princess! Oh, thank goodness. I am so glad to see you. <gasps> really? Well, it would have taken anyone, honestly. Oh. Uh... Don't you talk to him that way. How dare you? So where are you guys off to? Going on a qua... <clears throat> you guys going on a mission? Can I come with? Ah, oh, corn nuts! I can't let these two talk! They might find out about each other! The last thing I need is Reckon telling my brother about the handy I gave him! <gasps> oh, snap! He might tell him I baked him cupcakes! Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, I gotta nip this in the bud. Duh, you know, <laughs> I would love for you to come along, but I actually have a super special mission that I can only entrust to you. You do? What is it? I, uh, need you to keep an eye on Prince Casimir for me. He's been acting real sus lately. Ugh. Of course, Princess. I won't let you down. But are you sure he isn't just mad that you're bailing on the whole wedding storyline? Nah. Nah, this is something else. He's deaf into some sketch she is. I need you to stop. Well, if you're sure, then that's good enough for me. I'll get to the bottom of this no matter what. Cool beans, my dude. Feel free to start anytime. <sighs> All right. Well, take care. And you, uh, Spriggan, 
the princess kind of tends to get herself into trouble, like, constantly. So I'd appreciate it if you'd watch her back, okay? You got it, buddy. I don't plan on letting her out of my sight. I don't trust her at all. Well, I trust you. Like, to a weird degree, actually. There's something really familiar about you. Hey, have you been on the news or something? Ah, my tootsies! Well, we have our missions. Chop, chop, the time's a-wasting. You know, you really should be nicer to your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Regardless of label, you must care for each other. Both of your heart rates increased by 22% when he arrived. Hear that? Science says you like him. Yeah? Well, maybe I'm scared of him. You ever think of that? He's got a big knife. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <sighs> this is fun. Hey, where are we going again? So, I feel like we need to talk about this whole constantly escaping thing. I have no idea how you keep breaking through my security, but don't you think it's time to stop? A marriage is a partnership, kitten, and you're leaving me to plan this wedding all by my lonesome. At least help me pick out a china pattern. Well, you want me to fit into my wedding dress, don't you? Assaulting your guards is about the only exercise I get in this place. Ah, I'm glad you brought that up, actually. You've been laying into the poor boys quite a lot, and... Well, their psych bills are really starting to add up. Especially dear Shoji. I don't know what you have against him specifically, but he's starting to take it personally. Yeah, I go pretty hard with Shoji. Is he in today? No! Uh, I mean, Shoji's on sick today! <laughs> <sighs> well, I suppose I can forgive such trifles. You might as well indulge these base urges now. I can assure you that there will be none of that once the project is complete. You should see some of the housewife protocols the boys are cooking up. Somewhere between Leave it to Beaver and Hardcore Porn. Woof! So, how exactly is that gonna work, by the way? Am I gonna, like, have a remote? We going by Alexa rules? Or are we just doing a full Stepford? Oh, you. Always asking questions, poking at the armor. It'd almost be adorable if it wasn't such a nuisance. Much like that little boy toy of yours. What? Oh, <laughs> that certainly got a reaction. Did I finally find a nerve? Well, you'll be happy to know that we detected him logging in last night. No doubt the little pissant thinks he's going to charge in here and save you. The fool. I suppose I could simply ban his account, but where's the fun in that? No. I think I'll let him struggle for a while. I'll allow him to garner his forces, claw his way to the top, only to find the gates completely impregnable. <laughs> I can hardly even imagine the satisfaction of seeing that glimmer of hope die in his eyes. <laughs> it should be quite the show. Don't you think, my dear Titania? I think if you touch a single hair on his head, I'm going to be wearing your guts like my mom's pashmina. Excuse me? I'm sorry, did I freaking stutter? I said, if you hurt him, you will experience pain and torment beyond anything you could possibly imagine. Your body will be torn apart piece by piece as you beg for a mercy that will never come. I will add your screams to my gosh darn Spotify and I will see your head mounted on a fudging pike! You, you should hear how ridiculous you sound right now. That profanity filter is doing you no favors. <laughs> Listen here! I am your king, and you will not disrespect me like this. Threaten me all you want, spit on my face, stomp on my balls, but you and I both know you're powerless to stop me. Like it or not, you are going to clean up your act. We are going to have a beautiful wedding, and you are going to spend the rest of your life in blissful, mindless servitude. Now will you please help me pick out a gosh darn china pattern? She's gone. <sighs> of course she's gone. No, 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 please! I'm sorry to end mine! Ah! Ah! Screw it. 
Willow Blue it is. <sighs> Finally, we're here. Why are you in such a rush to get to this specific spot? Oh, you know, it's like a safe area where we can wait for our wings to recharge without getting attacked. Okay, then, uh, what happened to those guys? <laughs> they must have been outside of the zone. Look, if it makes you feel better, I can stay online while you log out. Get yourself a snack. I don't know. I'm pretty worried about Asuna. Bravo, come in. Do you have visual on the prisoner? I repeat, do you? Oh, Lord. It's in the bed! Well, you're not going to save her on an empty tummy, are you? Look, I don't have time to be... Okay, maybe just a sandwich. Be back in a bit. Good. Now, before the forest folk do their work, let's see if you've got any evidence for me. Evidence of what? Ah! Ah! I wasn't doing anything. Oh, I think we both know that is not the case. Sugaha Kirigaya. You're not really a pet item, are you? You're like one of those... Fully autonomous and sentient artificial intelligences? No, no, no. I mean, you're like one of those robots that can talk and think and junk. Huh. I sure am, sport. Whoa. So, how do you know who I am? Did he tell you? You gotta tell me what he's planning. Oh, Daddy has no idea who you really are. I only know because I hacked your atmosphere, as well as a few other things, and found your account information. Wait, he really doesn't know? Well, if he's not trying to mess with me, then why is he even here? Daddy's attempting to rescue Mommy from the very handsy clutches of this game's administrator, who's keeping her mind captive at the top of the world tree. The fact that he ran into you, a close family member, mere moments after logging in, was simply happenstance. That's absurd! Correct, but it is also what happened. Yeah, no. I ain't buying it. That butthead knows I'd never be caught dead playing a girly game like this. This is clearly all part of some elaborate revenge plot. Just admit it! A pity. If you will not listen to reason, perhaps more drastic methods will be necessary. <laughs> nice try, kid. But you've got a terrible poker face. At least I still have a face. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> that should do. <gasps> Are we feeling a little more cooperative now? Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Please, just stop! I'll quit messing with him, okay? I swear! I'll do whatever you want! Um, thanks, but I think just the saving my wife thing is plenty. Ah! You're a bit jumpy. Did something happen while I was gone? Oh, yes. Leaf and I were just having a fascinating discussion about... <laughs> it's nothing! Don't worry about it. Right. So, you want to take a turn and log out? Uh, actually, we should really get moving. <laughs> Sounds good to me, but why are you suddenly in such a rush? You see, Daddy, while you were gone, Leafa received a message from her mother informing her that the conference is drawing to a close. Leafa believes we must quicken our pace if we wish to arrive before the other delegates leave. Isn't that right, Leafa? I don't think we have any delis in this game. Or... or do we? She says that if we get there in time and play our cards right, we may be able to raid the World Tree with not only her mother's army, but the Katsy army as well. She believes that in working together, we may be able to achieve what none have been able to accomplish alone. I mean, all that mayo's gotta come from somewhere, right? No reason we couldn't get a nice potato salad going. <sighs> But we must leave now! Since the mountains surpass the altitude limit, our only way forward is through Candy Cane Cavern, which will slow our progress considerably! Am I remembering your plan correctly? 
Leafa! What? Huh? I mean, yeah! My plan! Why am I hungry? Yeah. Forgive me for saying this, ladies, but I'm a bit skeptical. Look, I know it sounds a little weird, but I swear you can trust me. I have nothing but the purest of intent. Hey! Hey, you! Yeah, I see you! You get out of here! This one's not for you! <laughs> uh, but yeah, we should probably go. Hey, wait! No, get back here! Who is that all about? <laughs> Yo, wait, this better not be another one of your quote-unquote jokes. <laughs> <laughs>